hello everyone welcome to the mathematics in my channel so in this video we are going to solve this nice integral integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x square over 1 plus x square dx so to solve this integral uh, first i'm going to consider uh, this integral integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus ax dx we know this is equal to 1 over a simple integral so you can uh, solve then uh, if we take 0 to infinity e to the minus 1 plus x square times y dy so uh, similarly we can write the answer is 1 over 1 plus x square okay then uh, instead of 1 over 1 plus x square now we can use this integral so we can write uh, here integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x square then instead of 1 over 1 plus x square here we have the integral integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus 1 plus x square times y dy and here we have dx okay then uh, as a next step here we have y times 1 so e to the minus y therefore we can write 0 to infinity e to the minus y integral from 0 to infinity e to the now here uh, minus x square here also minus x square so we can take minus x square as a common factor so here we have 1 plus y dx dy okay then uh, here integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus y now we know about uh, Gaussian integral integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus ax square dx is equal to 1 half the square root of y over e so we can write here uh, 1 half square root of y over 1 plus y 1 plus uh, y dy okay then uh, let us simplify we can uh, take square root of pi over 2 as a uh, tractor and also we know it's a constant so we can take outside of the integral sign so here integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus y over the square root of 1 plus y dy okay then uh, i'm going to take a substitution 1 plus y is equal to t then we know y is equal to t minus 1 also if we differentiate dy is equal to dt so uh, we can plug in here square root of uh, pi over 2 now limit uh, we know when y approaches to 0 t approaches to 1 uh, y approaches to infinity t also approaches to infinity then here e to the uh, minus y y we know t minus 1 so minus t minus 1 over the square root of t times dy we know dt well uh, then here uh, e to the uh, minus times minus 1 so we have e so we can take outside of the integral sign so e times the square root of pi over 2 integral from 1 to infinity e to the minus t over the square root of t dt okay then again i am going to take a substitution the square root of t is equal to u then we know t is equal to u square if we differentiate dt is equal to 2 times u du then we can plug in so here we have e times square root of pi over 2 now uh, limit uh, we know also 1 to infinity e to the minus uh, t we know u square over square root of t we know u dt we know 2 times u du then this 2 get cancelled this u also get cancelled so we have e times square root of pi times integral from 1 to infinity e to the minus u square du okay uh, let's call the uh, complementary error function we have the function erfc of x erfc of x is equal to 2 over square root of pi x uh, to infinity 
e to the minus t square dt so we can write here e times square root of pi now uh, for this integral we have uh, here 2 over square root of pi so square root of pi over 2 times uh, erfc of now instead of x uh, here we have 1 so erfc of 1 now we have uh, e times pi over 2 times complementary error function of 1 okay this is the answer for this integral if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching